Gaffer, do you get your rewards for the work you've put in defensively tonight? To that, that goal that Jack Merritt scores at the end grabs the headlines, but they really battled tonight, didn't they? Well, that was, you know, you only have to listen to the players when we go in the dressing room. That well, since we've come into the football club, we've really focused on some defensive work, not shape, not walking about uh, and maybe moving a yard now and again, but, but some real good solid defending. And we knew in certain games like tonight, especially with the, we can see the pitch behind me, that we'd have to do it. And we 70 minutes that, you know, I was aware of what was happening elsewhere because you, you always are around the country. And I thought, well, we're going to try and win the game. So we went with the, suddenly we brought Omar on and, and then we brought Coops on. We brought another winger on to, to believe we'd make a chance. And we kept um, Marcus on the pitch. Not his best night, but we kept him on there just believing he could. I said to Paul, leave him on, he can hit one special pass. He hit one special pass, and um, and I, I must admit, when uh, Jack Barry does what he does, he is he's phenomenal, and um, reminds me so much of Chris Wood. And look what he's doing at Burnley now in the Premier League. But when he nicks it over the goalkeeper, um, it seemed to take forever to go in, and I, and I didn't want the conditions to stop it with the pitch. But listen, credit to the players. We, as a management team, we take no credit. We just we we prepare the boys to try and win some games, and, and the credit lies on there. That are, they're a fantastic group to work with. Yeah, you knew you had to battle a lot of crosses coming into the box, particularly when Hansen came on late on, but your centre halves in particular headed pretty much everything that came their way. Yeah, and I think it's isn't it, isn't it great that, that Stephen and, and Jack stood up to that challenge because it's you know, I like Hansen. He's a big strong boy, he's he's incredible in there as he as he was at Bradford. And um, but we we as soon as we get the goal we bring Taff on and you know isn't it good as well when he comes on that, that suddenly it doesn't look as big a threat because he's he's so good in there, so it's Listen, they're a talented group, they're young, but you know, given, given the conditions tonight, given given the state of the pitch, given the quicksand that it's in, well, that young boy Leo, that's the best game I've seen him play in terms of being strong as a midfield player, getting around the pitch, winning his battles. And I just said to him in there, what, what a future he's got ahead of him. And um, I want to play a little part in the next. 10, hopefully, hopefully 13 games and sending him further in his career. Yeah, Jack Murray obviously got the goal and, and deserves the plaudits for that as well, but his, his running off the ball in, in terms of getting into the channels and giving you an outlet was key as well tonight. Again, given the pitch, it was important that you could stretch it. Well, Jack was very unlucky in the first half. He said two wonderful pieces of skill, wonderful movement, wonderful pace. He's, he's blessed with good pace. Two great strikes and blocked from nowhere. Blocked from nowhere. And uh, and we said to the boys at half-time, you know, if you, if you look at the 45, we're disappointed we're not 2-0, uh, but we're not 2-0. And it might, I shouldn't have said it, but I said it might take to the 92nd, 93rd minute to win the game. And if we make Omar a chance, if we, you know, if he comes on, if we make the wee man, if we make Jack a chance, if we make Marcus a set play, for example, if we get Coops on the pitch, he's a wonderful set play taker. I just thought we'd make a chance. And isn't that a fitting reward for the for the Porsche supporters who, who come up here tonight? It's a freezing cold night. They've come up to almost Manchester when they're working today and starting early tomorrow so thank you to not only the supporters at home but a big big thank you to them that come tonight and they got the rewards and, and the reception at the end was touching.